Design Nation, in part one of this series, you learned how to get started modeling in SketchUp from an image using PhotoMatch. In this part two, we're going to learn how to build our TARDIS in 3D. If you haven't gone through part one yet, pause this video and go check out that before continuing. Now that your PhotoMatch is set up and your origin is here at the corner and your axes are lined up, um, we're going to start modeling. So to let you know sort of what my plan of action is, is to rough out the um, basic shape of the TARDIS to make sure that's right, and then to take one of these sides and make a component and then copy it around. That way when we manipulate one side, it'll affect all the others. Whenever you start modeling with Match Photo and SketchUp, you should always start with the origin point. Um, it's from there that SketchUp's going to know what you're doing and where you're trying to model from. Um, so just always start with the origin point and then when you have everything sort of set up from there um, then you can start picking points in your model. Now that I um, have my origin point clicked I'm going to start roughing in the basic shape of this. Um, what I like to do is make sure that my lengths actually sort of make sense that they're nice and neat. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit, come in, and it looks like this could be about 4 foot 8. So I'm going to type that in. Um, and then just continuing, continue modeling um, from there. So f this is probably also four foot eight. And then bring this back. Make sure I'm on the green. I'm holding shift to lock. All right. So now I have my base. I'm gonna bring that up. It looks like maybe four inches. Maybe a little bit more. I'll go up a half inch. Looks so. good. You can set this is actually set within, so I'm going to hit this, um, and I'm going to choose the offset. So I'm going to come in, I'm just going to sort of guess where this is, um, maybe an inch. I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to extrude this inner portion up. So it looks like it maybe is a little bit more than that. So choose offset again. Two inches and P for push pull. You can see that this is off a tiny bit, but I'm not going to worry too much about um, being completely accurate. Okay, so now I have that. Um, I'm going to rotate a little bit, do the same thing. Click once, um, choose four this time. Just rough this in. Double click the TARDIS. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than that, so. <clears throat> Let's come out an inch, one inch. I'll just redraw this. Three. See how that looks. Again, close, so I'm just going to use that and then select this top and move it down. I'm going to assume that this is probably four. Um, I'll go back to the TARDIS, see how that looks. It's about right. So take this, extrude it down. back in Go another let's say one inch it didn't look like it was that much and just extrude that up maybe a little bit more undo let's go two inches let's try another four just in case try to eliminate as many steps that looks pretty good <coughs> Now what I'm going to do is draw an X on here and then select my middle point and pull it up. So I'm just going to pull it up really tall right now and then I'll um, smush it down. For this I'm not going to worry about having something nice, I'm just going to make sure it looks right. 
And now um, what I'm going to do is group all of this. Um, and I want to do this circle separate. So um, you can see it's hard to lock to this because it's all angled. So you want to make sure you're on the blue. Hold shift to lock it. And then I can draw my circle. So at first I'm going to try, let's say, it's a radius. So I'm going to try 1.5. See how that looks. Too tiny. It's about twice. Let's try to redo. I'm just going to take this and scale it. The scale tool is here. scale it by two. A little bit funky. So I, my screen was a little messed up, so I just clicked that to get back. And that looks pretty good. And now I have everything roughed in. Um, kind of makes sense. Um, now I'm going to add detail. Um, but first, I'm going to actually um, break these sides. So when I add detail, I'm not doing it four times, but I can just do it once and um, don't have to worry about doing it again. So I'm just going to break um, this side out from everything else. Oh, so you can see I accidentally um, drew those lines while I wasn't in the group. So what I'm going to do is select them, hit um, Control X for cut, go into the group, edit, paste in place, and now I have those lines back and I don't have to redraw them. Uh, I'm going to delete everything else. I have that. I'm going to make this group a component and then I'm going to edit the name of it to TARDIS side. Okay. And now I'm going to copy this. Copy um, this to the four sides. Rotate. Copy this over. Q for rotate. I'm currently problem solving. Um, these aren't weren't set up right. So um, what I'm going to do is make them right um, by locking. So you can see that I drew another line and then drew a point um, from the midpoint to make sure that all of these things line up. <coughs> and I can delete it, and I'm good to go. So while you're modeling, it's going to be pretty important that you can toggle your your components on and off. Um, so go to preferences under window and then under shortcuts and filter type hide. So um, you can see this is view hide similar. 
I'm going to set that to um, K. I'm going to set that to J. And hide rest of model, I'm going to set to, to H. Um, for pan, I use my middle mouse, so it's not a big deal. So I set that. And now when I'm in here, I can toggle this on and off. So this just makes it easy for me to see what I'm actually modeling. So J um, shows me other similar components, and H will just isolate that, this group, right, my component. But since I have this now, um, I'm going to speed this up, and I'm going to start modeling in detail. thing is um, like if I had this at five and I could only go this oh, I should undo that um, and I could only go this way but I you know for whatever reason I can only stretch it this way um, you can type in negative five um, and I'll go the opposite way that you're you're stretching so if I'm going this way and hit negative five and it'll go back to normal uh, same thing like it's difficult for me to go in five that way. And it's much easier to go out this way. So you can just type negative five and go the opposite direction.
If you like this video and you want more tips just like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For any of our video content, YouTube is the first place that we post it, so a lot of times you can get the most exclusive content before it even goes live on our website, designerhacks.com. Uh, so since uh, SketchUp 2013, uh, they added the extension warehouse, so installing extensions has become super easy. Um, so if you go to Window and scroll down to Extension Warehouse, it'll pop up this Extension Warehouse window.